Brexit will herald a new golden age of British manufacturing, says leading economist. Britain is starting to see the benefits of Brexit despite the doom-mongering of establishment economists who are trying to save their own bacon after making woefully wrong predictions, atop. And, as the Remainers' woefully misguided predictions get it wrong again and again, one leading economist says it's because too many of his contemporaries see the EU as a religion Professor Patrick Mifford, who was one of the leading lights of the Leave campaign pointed to a boom in exports as evidence that the UK economy is rebalancing towards manufacturing something many experts have recommended for decades. He said the economy is doing very well despite disappointing recent growth figures, adding that he expected those to be rectified later in the year when the move towards producing our own goods will start to be reflected on the nation's balance sheet. The Economist who is a professor at Cardiff University, was widely attacked by Remainer academics last week after he published a report saying pursuing a policy of unilateral free trade would boost the country's output by £135 billion a year. Europhiles lined up to dismiss The Economists for free trade dossier with some even arguing the impartial BBC should have censored it but it has since been backed by a prominent German free market economist. Speaking to Express.co.uk Professor Mifford said he was not surprised by the overwhelmingly negative reaction to his research, which largely came from consensus economists who had predicted an immediate recession after the Brexit vote. He said, it's all the usual suspects, actually they are simply repeating comments they made about our work during the referendum. It's all quite similar and all quite wrong. It's a good try for them to do that but actually they are the ones that are completely wrong. They are basically neo-protectionists. This stance, it justifies protectionism and that's where they are completely out on a limb. Professor Mifford said many economists had lost all impartiality on Brexit having got wrapped up in EU mania and EU religion, adding many were out to save their bacon after making dismally wrong predictions thus far. The academic said the EU may seek to impose some tariffs on Britain because its reflex action is protectionist but added that any punishment measures would be severely restricted by international law. He said, they can't impose non-tariff barriers on us because it's illegal. All that will happen is they will impose some tariffs that range between 3 to 5 percent, which can easily be offset. So at the end of the day what we're saying is let's talk and have a free trade agreement with these governments if they want, but we really don't care it's more political, that we'd like to have an agreement with our nearest neighbours. Professor Mifford's assertion that Britain does not need a free trade deal with Brussels is outside of the academic mainstream in the UK and on the continent, with many economists predicting dire consequences from a no-deal scenario. But it was supported by German economist Professor Thorst Polit, who told Express.co.uk that economists for Britain's proposal to drop trade barriers after Brexit would benefit the UK. He said, if Great Britain pursues a wise strategy, bringing taxes down, making attractive conditions for setting up businesses, welcoming talent from other countries, this is the way towards prosperity. The bottom line is basically free trade is great for all parties involved, it brings greater material prosperity of everyone involved. At the same time for having free trade you don't need this single market and all the bureaucracy that comes with it. It's important for economists to stress the importance of getting out and the long-term benefit it will have for the people of Great Britain in the short term it might become ugly but in the long run it will be very beneficial for Britain and that's a big worry for Brussels and asked how he felt the British economy was performing thus far after Brexit. Professor Mifford said, the economy is doing very well, what's going on is called rebalancing. A lot of these economists are trying to save their bacon for having said there was going to be a recession. The big thing that's going on is a big rise in exports and a rebalancing towards foreign trade that's coming through.
New exports in value are up about 16% since March 2016. It's quite extraordinary. It's the best for 20 years so we're getting this rebalancing and what I'm expecting is in the second, third and fourth quarters is growth will start to reflect this export growth. The devaluation of the pound is meant to trim down the consumer and improve the profits of exports that's the whole point of it. So it's doing its work. And if all these consensus economists weren't such enemies of Brexit and so out to save their bacon because they got it wrong they would all be out in favour for rebalancing because that's what they've always advocated. GDP estimates published this week by the ONS showed that growth slowed to 0.3% in the second quarter of this year, with manufacturing and construction relatively weak but services holding up. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe English News Hub for new excited videos.